first thing we're gonna have to do is over here in the wheel well, there are three clips that you have to pull out to get into this wheel well so you can take the bumper off. This clip happens to be one of the ones that were in here. Clips may vary depending on how old your car is and who's been driving it. And then right up here is a screw that we have to take out with our ratchet. So before you start on doing this, make sure your wheels turn so you can get a better angle on this and get your hand in there. This is a 10 millimeter uh, socket wrench with an extension. All right, that's one. We'll go on the other side and we'll do the same thing. So now we've removed the clips on this side and we will uh, take this bolt out up here, right here, if you can see it, right there. All right, bolt number two. We don't have fog lights on our car, but if you do have fog lights, make sure you unplug the bulb, which you can go in from the other side and just twist the bulb and pull it out. So that when you lower the bumper, you won't pull it out and, and wreck your uh, wiring, okay? So on to the next step. The next step is we have eight clips, four on each side that hold the bumper in. They look like this and what you do is Get your, get your screwdriver under and pry up the lid. And if you can, catch it onto that part right there. If you catch it on the top, you're gonna rip the tops off. Then you have to buy all new clips, which you can get at AutoZone. But if you can get your screwdriver to get some leverage and grab that, grab that right there and kind of pull it out, it'll come right out. Unlike most other cars, like the Chrysler 300, the Dodge Charger has two extra bolts. There's one right here, where my finger is, and there's another one on the other side, right there, 10 millimeters, and there's another one on this side, over here. So you can see we need an extension. There's also an extra nut on the inside of the fender well which is right there. I will zoom in on that for you. You have to take that off too. It's just a nut, it's not the whole screw. And you can get it from going inside the fender well since you've already have that off. And you can pull down the water shield and you'll see it right there. And you just uh, unscrew it. In order to get this last bolt, you have to take out this clip and this clip to allow you access to pull this down enough to get in there and get the last bolt holding on the bumper. We'll get our handy dandy screwdriver in here. Pop that bad boy out just like that. Okay, that's one. And two. Now that we've taken all the screws out, let's lift the bumper off. While we're here, usually the Chargers and the 300s have a black plate that's screwed into here. So check underneath your car before you start doing this to make sure that you don't have to undo any clips. That'll keep, it's called a wash plate, the wash plate that's onto your bumper. And now we're getting ready to reassemble the car because our two lights are in. Right now we're gonna button everything up and start by putting our screws back in right here.
And now we're gonna do the other side. Now that we have everything screwed in, we're just gonna replace our water shield here, back in the place, and put our clips in. our clips up here Good. four on this side four on this side I've already started this one right here put the bottom in just press it in with your hand and put the bottom in like that and put your top in pretty much like that we'll do that for the other ones if you like this video press like and also subscribe to our channel so we can help you with any other fixes you have for your cars. Thanks for watching.